Okay, okay. Pereira, we're going to have yeah. to pause that for a second because we have another brilliant person coming. Dr. Hi. Spurgle. Hey. Hello. Pleasure to be here. Thank you so much for stopping and chatting with us. We have a live stream going on right now. Excellent. Yeah, so you are also part of the WMAP, WMAP team. WMAP team. We've been asking each other a lot of questions, asking some of the other parts of the team. Can we ask you the question we were just discussing? Absolutely. Okay. It's so about... I, so I'm the theorist on the team. I'm perfect. the one who wasn't allowed to touch anything. <laughs> yeah. That's perfect. But you're allowed to talk a lot. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. So we were wondering, we were talking about, um, you know, the, the fluctuations at the during the Big Bang. Yep. The fluctuations that created sort of the different temperatures. Um, how, how are those possible? How is it possible that you can have fluctuations at such an early state of the universe? So what we think happened was very early in the history of the universe, and this is really early. Yeah. The first trillionth of a trillionth of a trillionth of a second. We think the universe underwent this period of incredibly rapid expansion mm -hmm. that we call inflation. Mm -hmm. And one, this part of the universe over there expanded a little bit faster than that part. So that ended up a little denser than that part. Mm -hmm. So we start out with these small variations, you know, about a part in 10,000 in the density of the universe from place to place. Mm -hmm. Once you've got variations in density, what that does is set off sound waves. We can do an experiment. Watch okay. this. Okay, right now. Okay, I'm going to set create a dense, a, a over density in the atmosphere. <laughs> You got Set, everyone's attention. Sets as off well. a sound wave. <laughs> yeah. And that sound wave propagates out. And what we see is the patterns generated by that sound wave. Mm -hmm. Where that rate that as that wave goes out, it's got more electrons, more photons. Mm -hmm. That makes it hotter. So that creates a hot ring. Mm -hmm. Now the subtlety, and this is one of the reasons we have evidence, very strong evidence for dark matter from our observations, is left behind is excess dark matter. Mm -hmm. So we've got excess dark matter here and a ring of baryons and photons around it. That excess dark matter makes a cold spot because you've got to climb out of a gravitational potential well mm -hmm. because it's extra matter. This makes a hot spot. So we can measure the amount of dark matter in the universe by measuring the relative amplitude of the ring and the, the hot ring in the cold center. We can measure the age of the universe because we can measure the size of the ring. Mm -hmm. So I think of it as nature holding up this ruler, which is how far a sound wave could move mm -hmm. from the beginning of time to 380,000 years after the bang, Big Bang, so roughly 380,000 light years across. That time scale matters because that's when atoms first form. And by measuring that size of the ring, we then just get to apply high school geometry. Mm -hmm. I know a length. <laughs> I measure an angle by seeing how big the hot and cold spots mm -hmm. we see are. From that, we could figure out the age of the universe, about 13.76 billion years. Right, right. And so if you've ever heard the age of the universe and you've wondered how we possibly know that, this, this man, this is how yeah, we know. Yeah, it's by measuring the size of that ring. Yeah. I mean, it's just high school geometry <laughs> and a really sophisticated experiment that my right, colleagues built. Right, right. And send and into space. You see, send into space and you <laughs> yeah. measure the age of the universe, the density of atoms, how much matter there is. Um, I'm sorry, we're gonna get to let you go. I've been refraining all night from talking about anyone's clothes, but your bow tie cannot be left uncommented. It what is, is it? It's made from turkey feathers. Turkey feathers. Um, the website claims no animal is harmed in making this bow tie. Okay, okay. It so wasn't like all, a Thanksgiving sacrifice. We don't. I don't think so. They <laughs> okay. supposedly okay. fall off naturally, and it's from a place like. Right outside the museum, right outside the White House, it's a great art museum. Got it. And uh, they sell these bow ties, and I thought, for an event like this, I got to get a good yeah, bow tie. Yeah, yeah. And one last thing, you were involved in the uh, writing the narration for the um, uh, what is it, the Hayden Planetarium? Yep. Show. Yeah. What is the name of the show? I can't recall. I don't remember. Okay, we don't remember, but it's about, <laughs> but much of it is about dark matter. Yep. Um, you gotta see it if you haven't. I will be at the at the Hayden Planetarium tomorrow, so I will be checking it out. Excellent. I'm very excited. Excellent. Yeah. So I'm I'm now based partly in Princeton, partly in New York. I'm oh, running a center it. in New York. Okay, fantastic. And, you know, one of the most fun projects I was involved with this a number of years ago was we helped set up the planetarium. Got so it. I was on a part of the committee of scientists that were asked, okay, the, we're building this planetarium. People are in the planetarium for five minutes. Mm -hmm. 
they're going to learn one thing about the universe. Mm -hmm. What should it be? And and you were part of that decision. Yes. Yeah. So what was it? What did what what did, what's the, the one thing? The universe is really big. There you have it. <laughs> so that's the big takeaway. The we live in a big universe. We live really in big enormous. and really old. Yeah. But, yeah. But old, but not infinite age. You know, no. thirteen point. You know, you're young. Thirteen point <laughs> seven six billion doesn't seem that long. You know, that seems old. But you know, the Earth is four and a half billion years old. So the age of the universe is only three times the age of the Earth. So I, th I think of it as we're li we may be living kind of early in the history of the universe. I, it's a, it's a, um, an optimistic way of thinking. Yeah. yeah good. <laughs> Congratulations. <laughs> Congratulations on the prize. Thanks. A real pleasure. Thank you very Thanks. much.